Can you imagine running 30 milligrams of halotestin per day for up to two years? All of these studies were performed up until the early 1990s on subfertile men. Treatment ranged between two milligrams up to 30 milligrams daily for up to two years. I think your liver would melt. Your liver would probably melt right into your testicles. And now all of these amino acids are available for your testicles to continue to produce semen. Man, my liver is just hurting thinking about it. There's not enough tutka in the world to mitigate all of the side effects of this much halo tested. These are studies performed a very long time ago and hopefully the medical community has wisened up a little bit since then. Treatment showed significant improvement of semen parameters and pregnancy outcomes. A lot more men got their wives pregnant running halotestin. I mean, the amount of angry sex that took place, I can't even imagine. 